Stories make you want to ask, what is going on? Families in Texas and Ohio are dealing with the impossible. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. There are a lot of opinions about the mass shootings in El Paso and in Dayton, and tonight we're cutting through all of that, and we're focusing on the people left behind after these senseless acts of violence. Their lives will never be the same. People in our community want those families to know they're not alone. Tonight, they stood outside the NRA headquarters in Fairfax County to share a powerful message. Mike Valerio starts us off with that story. Among a multitude of messages, their voice is clear. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Say, I've had it. I've had it. I'm done. I'm done. They are faces of defiance, but some are afraid. Ariel is in ninth grade, fearful of growing up Latino in America. Like, uh, as me, I feel scared. I feel scared. Smoke them out! Smoke them out! Outside the NRA, even clergy called for a new direction. I will tell you, the time for thoughts and prayers have come to an end. Sandy is a retired teacher with the massacres this weekend still with her. Total sadness. I mean, that I cried. That's what I did. I cried. Um, I can't even imagine if it was my child or my mother or somebody you know, close to me. Enough is enough! Not one more! Enough is enough! Not one more! But all seem to know in their hearts there will be more. Jessica tells us that's no reason to stay silent. She has to speak up for those no longer here. My biggest concern is just making sure that these tragedies have, these tragedies don't end in just a continuance of the cycle that we're in. In Fairfax County, Mike Valerio, WUSA 9.